Hey. Time. Judges, envision the last time you experienced perfection. Perhaps a moment that took your breath away. I find myself chasing after these moments, and I'm realizing that exceptional moments like these are no coincidence. They're actually the result of someone's perhaps unseen pursuit of greatness. It's hard to put into words, but the closest I've found to capturing this is the Japanese word kodawari, which in short means the relentless pursuit of perfection. Oftentimes, when we think of perfection, we think of what is required to get there. But with kodawari, perfection is aspirational rather than attainable. It's found in the journey itself. Our focus today revolves around this concept and is woven into the essence of everyone involved in bringing today's copy to you. So, let's start our time together with some tasting notes for your espressos. If you can please write this down for me. You're gonna experience tart cherry juice, watermelon candy, raspberry, and dark chocolate. The tactile experience will be medium in weight, it's gonna have a silky mouthfeel and a lingering finish. Now, how we arrive at these flavor calls can be attributed to the process and the extraction. The process starts with producer Nestor Lasso of Finca El Diviso in Huila, Colombia. And I chose this coffee because it epitomizes Kodawari through Nestor's journey. Five years ago, Nestor took over the family farm with a passion for producing specialty coffee at the highest level. He does this by taking exceptional care of every small detail, and it's apparent through this coffee, which is an Ethiopian land race mutation called ombligon, meaning belly button in Spanish for its belly button shaped cherries. At 1,900 meters above sea level, mainly overripe cherries are picked, then placed in open plastic drums to oxidize for 24 hours. This step introduces more flavor intensity, where the cherries are then immersed or placed in bioreactors to undergo anaerobic fermentation for 200 hours. Because this is where Nestor found he was able to produce higher complex acidity, where it's then immersed in water at 32 degrees Celsius and recirculated with musto. Saccharomyces yeast is introduced to bring more flavor clarity, directly translating to those tart cherry juice notes in your espresso today. And then quenched in cold water to stop fermentation and pristinely dried and hermetically sealed dehumidifiers until it reaches 11% moisture content. Now, all these intentional steps is where Nestor found he was able to produce higher complex acidity, which leads us to produce the most expressive coffee he's ever produced, which leads us to the extraction. Similarly to how Nestor quenches coffees to stop fermentation and capture flavors, I'm extract chilling your espressos over these frozen spheres at 20 grams in, 50 grams out for 26 seconds. Now, these tools are helpful, and a lot of us are using them this week, but I'm using them because I was able to lock in more volatile compounds. But more importantly, I wanted to ensure that more of the flavors produced by Nestor make it into your cup. This extract chilling in tandem with the extraction ratio resulted in a sweet, complex, and articulate shot, giving honor to the work of Nestor and his team. And I'm so excited for y'all to try this. Now, all my notes for the espresso and for the milk course are provided for you right in front of you. Please refer to them if you like. I'll be pulling short, your shots shortly here. All right, thank you for your patience. Now, for instructions, I'm gonna hand you these espressos. Please evaluate the crema, but hold off on tasting. I'm gonna be stirring your espressos for you. Now, in the framework of Kodawari, we believe the next work we produce is going to be the best we've ever made. 
this moment, a moment that holds all the learning and experience that came before it of my 14-year career as a barista culminates to this espresso, which is the best shot I've ever pulled up to this point. So please, judges, savor this moment and enjoy. Thank you. All right, judges, when you're ready, we're going to explore the influence of kodawari in the milk course. But first, I want you to write down these flavor calls. A raspberry cheesecake, butterscotch, and strawberry milkshake. Now, in recent years, we've seen many innovations happening with the choice of milk on the competition stage. From, lack, from local organic milk to freeze distilled, and now cryo desiccated milk. We see the spirit of Kodawari pushing the envelope forward, resulting in some truly innovative milks. And I'm excited to share with you the milk I'll be using today evaporated lactose free milk. I chose lactose free milk because when you break down lactose into glucose and galactose, you get a higher sugar content, leading to a sweeter milk. Now, to amplify that sweetness, I took this milk and freeze distilled it to 50%, resulting in a sweeter, creamier milk. But it was still a one note of sweetness that I felt could be enhanced to have the characteristics of the Omegon shine in a new light. And I found I was able to achieve that by taking the freeze distilled milk and evaporating it, simmering it for 25 minutes, caramelizing the fats, sugars, and proteins, bringing forth a rich complexity that together with the Omblingon brought forth undiscovered flavor calls, directly improving the taste experience and texture of the drink, all the while beautifully highlighting the qualities of the Omblingon. Now, these qualities of the Omblingon were brought out with a fluid bed roaster with halogen capabilities, utilizing three different heat sources of conduction, convection, and radiant heat, I was able to use an aggressive roast to penetrate the coffee, accentuating sweetness while highlighting the lovely fruit and acidity of the Omegon. With a total roast time of nine minutes and a development time ratio of 12%, leading us to this lovely raspberry cheesecake note in your drinks. Here you are. Enjoy. For this course, I found the Omegon was best expressed at 23 grams in, 36 grams out for 28 seconds. I'm using 100 grams of this evaporated milk, and I steamed it to 49 degrees Celsius, because this is where it really highlighted that lovely butterscotch note in your drinks. Here you are. Thank you for your patience. And together with the espresso, bringing notes of raspberry cheesecake, butterscotch, and strawberry milkshake. It's absolutely wonderful. All right, there you are. Thank you so much. Enjoy. 
Thank you. Now, as my time with you winds down, I've prepared some hot towels for each of you, anticipating my favorite part of our time together. I ask that you be as present as possible, because this signature beverage experience is itself a foretaste of future moments of kodawari in our industry. So please, cleanse your hands thoroughly with them now, and our amazing buster will pick them up for you. Please go ahead. Now we can see that kodawari, please go, yeah, please go ahead. Now we can see that kodawari isn't just a monotonous pursuit of perfection, but rather a dynamic interplay of four pillars, passion, persistence, commitment, and attention to detail. To represent these four, I'm gonna share with you the four main ingredients I'm using to bring synergy to my signature beverage. First, we need passion, of which I'm starting with the espresso. Pulled at a longer extraction of 20 grams in to 60 grams out, serving more as a canvas than as a bulldozer. I've chilled it through this hyperchiller to cool it down, but to also heighten the viscosity and acidity. This espresso is the passion of Nestor Lasso, pouring his life into producing innovative and expressive coffees for the love of the work, making every effort worthwhile. Next, we need persistence, of which I'm adding 30 grams of a clarified coffee milk punch. In the context of Kodawari, persistence is the drive for continuous improvement, and this ingredient is an improvement on ingredient I've used in past competitions. I made this by adding 150 grams of whole milk to 150 grams of lemon juice, separating the curd from the whey. To add florality, I added 500 grams of an oolong tea, and as a balancing agent, I added 50 grams of a floral honey. I filtered it through a bed of 20 grams of spent Omblegon coffee grounds, reconstituting the flavors of the Omblegon itself into this milk punch. This resulted in a vibrant, complex, citrus-forward ingredient, giving this drink a refreshing acidity and transforms the note of tart cherry juice to a new lemon yogurt. Next, we need commitment of which I'm adding 20 grams of a grape chung, which is a fruit syrup commonly used in Korean cuisine. A defining characteristic of commitment is time. Most things worth doing take time, and so did making this ingredient. I made this by adding equal parts red seedless grapes to table sugar, and let it sit together for 200 hours, mirroring the anaerobic fermentation time of the Omnigan dissolving the sugars and creating a syrup in the process. This time was vital to bring about a deep, intense musket sweetness that, that I felt paired really well with the acidity of the Omnigon and transforms the notes of watermelon candy and raspberry to a new white grapefruit. And lastly, we need attention to detail, of which I'm adding five grams of a coffee sacrum. Precision is an indispensable element of Kodawari and extends to the smallest of details, represented through Nestor's attention to detail in his processing and now in this ingredient. I wanted to repurpose the Omlingon in a meaningful way, so I made this by adding equal parts spent espresso pucks of the Omlingon to raw sugar. The sugar extracted the oils, creating a slurry, which I then added equal parts cold brew to and filtered. On its own, it's aromatic, but can be too bitter but using just the right amount brings about an incredible complexity to this beverage, transforming the note of dark chocolate to a new ginger ale. Now to add cohesion and structure to your beverage, I'm blending all the ingredients into this blender, adding a pillowy and velvety mouthfeel to your drinking experience. My drinking instructions are simple. Please evaluate when I call time, swirl the drink for three seconds, and enjoy over three sips. You're gonna notice all the ingredients come together in great synergy, bringing you new flavors, of lemon yogurt, white grapefruit, and ginger ale. Now, judges, I am always inspired by the greatness of others and their pursuit of perfection. And when we embrace the spirit of Kodawari, we become the transformative force that pushes the coffee industry forward, giving birth to new innovations, elevated quality standards, and unexplored flavor possibilities. The great thing is, it's in us all. We just need to embrace it. And when we do, the result's not just outstanding coffee. It's a dynamic and thriving coffee culture that captivates the world. Perfection is found in the person and their journey, not in the cup. Thank you so much. Time.